Alpha Trainer and the Alpha Trainer features. With Alpha Trainer AT or Alpha Trainer Flight School ATFS, you will receive two copies of the AT Sport and two copies of the AT Twin. Copy 1 the Sport will have a standard instrument panel and copy 2 will have a short panel. The Twin will also have a standard and a short panel. We provide the short panel version to give you a big picture of the pilot's inputs with reference to the flight instruments as well as the resultant motion of the airplane. I will give you a quick summary of the features by comparing on the left the full detailed documentation and on the right I will be running the Alpha Trainer Flight School. We will start with the Alpha Trainer documentation. Now let's go to the top of X-Plane menu to Plugins. Click on that. Then we will come down to Alpha Trainer where we will see its menu. Data Display is the real-time flight information and beside it the transparent version. Next is Weather in three layers. You will select your weather from X-Plane. These are the LED light settings, which you will see on the original angle of attack gauge. Configuration shows the vectors on or off. You can enable some of them, and if you want to, save that selection by clicking Save. We usually have all of them enabled. The plotter is a way to analyze your maneuvers and it has a toggle to display in two different sizes. They also can be transparent. There is more information on the plotter in the user INI documentation. Here is the original LED angle of attack gauge and this is our latest angle of attack gauge that you can move around the screen. Next is our AT user INI files for version 4.0. This looks complicated, but don't worry, it is easy. Besides, you are usually just changing a 0 or a 1. These features require that you change and save a text file with the suffix .ini that are now in your explain folder. These .ini files, or we call them any files, are used so you can initialize a new way to start up a change you made. Note, if the any settings are changed and saved, then you will also need to reload the current aircraft. If the change does not occur, then a restart of X-Plane is required. The values below are for the AT Sport, and these values will be different for other aircraft. The first four are for debugging that will normally not be used. Now come down to Protractor's Opacity Enable or Disable. I will show how this any works. Open the X-Plane folder. Go to your Aircraft folder. Select the Sport then the AT User Preference Any, come down to Probe Tractors Opacity Enable equals zero, and change that value to one. Now select the level of transparency you desire. We will use 0 0.4 for this demo. Save the change and reload the aircraft. Now you have transparent protractors. Let's go down to Graphic Window Alternate Bottom, Width, and Height values. This is the second plotter when you use a toggle, shown here. If you want to just change the size of the plotter, use Percentage of Change to these numbers. If you want to change the shape, you will need to alter the numbers until you get the desired shape. At the end, you have the strings for making AT custom buttons for your controller or keyboard. I made an AT button for moving the center of gravity while in flight. 
See here? This comes in handy when demonstrating styles and spins. Please refer to the X-Plane documentation for setting up these commands. Okay, you can do a lot with the user any. Have fun. Our separate video, Making an FDR Video, covers most of the documentation for the AT Recorder and the AT Viewer. Please refer to these documents for detailed information. ATFS, you now have the tool for making great training videos that will save lives. Thank you.